I got my forehead tattoo after my granddad passed. It was his little nickname for me ever since I was a child, so it means everything. And people ask me why I didn't get my first tattoo somewhere more normal, but I wanted to show how much he meant. It's just another form of discrimination that should not be happening in 2020. Whether it's the colour of your hair, the clothes you wear, or ball sack on your forehead, none of it affects the ability to do your job. As a primary school teacher, Ben's tattoos are just not appropriate. I know it has sentimental meaning for him and I respect that, but there's only so many times you can lie to a child about what the word ball sack means before you have to do something. I think what a lot of people don't understand is that the kids don't look at me and see a cool guy with an amazing tattoo. They just see Mr. Stevens. The kids were calling him Mr. Ballsack. I was getting calls from parents, complaining. It's just nice to meet other people who feel as strongly as I do about freedom of expression. Uh, this brings me comfort that there are, you know, there are people out there who are standing up for being themselves. I completely agree. My tattoos are my special bond with my daughter. It was her eighth birthday and so I wanted to do something permanent as our little thing that we'd always have together. So I let her draw this on and I got it tattooed. And you know, we love it. It's, it's, be it's genuinely beautiful. Yeah, it's fantastic. Thank you. Sadly, my colleagues at the legal firm didn't think it was appropriate and I've been out of work ever since. Bigots, just such bigots. I mean, I'm Ch Charles, what, what about you? I don't want to trigger you or anything, but... I had this done before Little Mix even existed, but apparently it's a bit unprofessional for a brain surgeon to have one. So I'm never allowed to take off my scrubs. Just Unbelievable. How are you? Uh, yeah, you know, just just doing doing my best in what I think is just really, I, you know... Uh, mate, you hang in there. Yeah, thanks, Charles. Yeah. I'm really happy we could at least come to a compromise because I love doing what I do. I'm really excited to be back. Uh, Bullsock doesn't have the same personal meaning to me, but I've been told in ancient Aramaic that Bullsock means passer of wisdom. That's not all bad. Cheers, guys. Thanks.